last year, Toyota reconfigured the whole Tundra and it was over 14 years that it was just a carryover, carryover with the same V8 engine. Now it's a new twin turbo engine. It's also reworked suspension for the first time, adaptive variable suspension. The 1794 edition, new drivetrain that's 140% larger than the competition with a new composite bed. This is in the blueprint here at Stadium Toyota, starting off with adaptive premium LED headlamps and daytime runnings. LED fog lamps, the grill is enlarged, you can option the TRD honeycomb grill or the standard in the Tundra badging, just showing the dominance in the stance to this. Because it's a wider vehicle than the prior gen, it's also a little bit taller. Sequential LED turn signals, 9.3 inches of clearance. We're gonna get some upgraded wheels as well. Standard will be 18 inch. Because we have the 1794, this ups it to a 20 inch machine finish alloy wheels optional TRD matte black alloy wheels. Two piston front brakes with a 13.9 inch disc reading. Single piston in the back, 13.6 inch reading. A length at 233.6 inches with a wheelbase at 145.7 inches. So it's not a small vehicle. It is a little bit longer. I do like that we still have the chrome trims because this is a step above the SR or the SR5. You get the 1795 edition badging in the lower. I do wish this had the optional running boards because it would make it a little bit easier because anything over nine inches of clearance, it's gonna be a little bit of a step to get into. The new iForce V6 3.4 liter with 389 horsepower will be standard and that engine will also go from the SR5 and up. When you get to the SR, it's gonna be a different powertrain. When you get to the TRD, it's gonna be more power and performance. 17 MP PGs for the city, 22 PGs for the highway, 17% more towing than the prior gen, up to 12, up to 12,000 pounds, with a more smooth drive due to the revised due to the reworked suspension. Last year was the first time we have ever received an adaptive variable suspension with load leveling rear height. The new double wishbone suspension from last year has been a carryover which dispenses of the leaf springs for coil springs and added lateral rigidity with the multi-link rear suspension. Sequential LED tail lamps is set with the 1794. 479 pound-feet of torque with a 10-speed automatic transmission. Soft to open for the tailgate. Six-foot bed. The length is at 77.6 inches between the wheel wheel housing at 48.7 inches, a height of 20.9 inches, giving us a total of 58.7 cubic feet. 360 degree reverse camera. Payload has increased over 11% to 1925 max. Going inside the 1794 edition with optional running boards, we do not have it. I would recommend it because the clearance is high. 41 inches of headroom, 41.2 inches of legroom, 14 way power seat adjustment, heated, ventilated, perforated. You get the two tone memory for the driver, 12 way power seat adjustment for the passenger. The 1794 edition is engraved in the American walnut wood grain interior with laser edging on the panels. 14 inch multimedia with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Sirius XM, JBL sound system which is 12 speakers that includes a subwoofer and an amplifier. Put it into reverse, 360 degree reverse camera, full trajectory for the front and the rear and you have a lot of different camera views that you can change this will definitely make it easier for any reversing. And the bird's eye view, which you can pause this. You can't swipe, but you can just push right here and it'll go closer or further away from the vehicle so you can see any imperfections whenever you're doing your maneuverability out of a parking lot. Dual zone climate control settings, wireless charging pad that comes standard 
that's optional on the limited trim with a lot of storage in between. Leather wrap around the gear lever, driver mode select for high, for low, or your all wheel drive system. The wood inlays for the cup holders that open up. It does take a little bit of area here because they're cleaning up the whole center and it has a wide center cluster. The new key fob for the Toyota Tundra 1794. Storage is gonna be in the front, more wood and a little storage compartment here. This is gonna be soft where you rest your arms. You can slide this back, which if you take the key fob, it'll go all the way back, in which you have a storage compartment that's easy access with the USB A and C port. For full access, just push here, open it up, and now you have even more storage capacity in that change holder there in the front. Leather wrap steering wheel, it's multi-function, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist with the new 12.3 digital gauge reader that can go through an array of information for the driver. You can also have your the compass, your audio sound system. You can turn on and off different sensors and to change the modes. Digital rear view mirror, where you can have your standard mirror. Upgraded JBL sound system and the door panels and dash configure in together with soft materials pretty much everywhere. It gives you two tiers to rest your arms. It's gonna be more soft here, but it's still doable here as well. One touch up and down for all the windows. That maple wood comes into the door panel with the memory for the driver. Storage, tr storage compartment right here that you can fit a smaller cell phone and a large storage pocket with a couple of beverage holders. And a large panel moonroof that covers nearly the whole roof. For the back seats, I'm at 38.9 inches of headroom, 33.3 inches of legroom. Center gets two USB ports, a C and an A with a home plug. Ventilated heated seats in the rear with air vents in the center. Cup holders for the center occupant. Storage behind both of the front seat. The door panel starts off with your manual sunshades. Soft materials, it's the same setup as the front and it should be because it's a 1794. So you have like an armrest here and an armrest here, storage tier and the large storage tier on the bottom. You can split fold the bench at a 60-40 split, which will give you a cargo compartment on the bottom to divide storage space. And you have cargo dividers. Sitting into the center headroom, I'm kind of against it because of the large pano moonroof. Leg space, I have a ton. I will be blocking the USB ports and home plug. I have my own area for feet, but in shoulder space is also good because it's a wider vehicle. 389 horsepower out of this iForce V6 3.4 liter with 489 pound feet of torque. Now that equivalates to about five miles per gallon more city and highway than the prior gen or the 21 and 14 years under it because it took forever for Toyota to change the vehicle, which I can understand when you build a vehicle that's airtight and bulletproof, why change it? And then when you have to change it, do it like this because the sound deadening, which you're gonna hear in just a second, is even more sealed up because it's a 1794 edition. To give her a little go. And that's not even full throttle. You are right there with the traffic. It's larger than most of the vehicles. You do sit up quite a bit and you feel it when you drive. Feels a little bit more wide, but it's not something that's hard to drive. That's a good thing because for maneuverability purposes, you have that. Turn radius purposes, which you'll see in just a second, it can be a little bit more wide. It would be nice to have it a little bit more tight, but when you're doing a body on frame truck, something this large being over 230 inches, you do have to kind of give a little bit because it's a long truck. Stopping, two pistons in the front, one in the back, does a good job, it's solid. The only disadvantage I will say, I kind of like to hear the exhaust note. And with the old V8 variant, you can hear it all the time. The sound deadening is so tight in this, the only time you're gonna hear it is when you're hitting around three RPMs. Because when you hit around two, it's really like a really light sound. But let me show you what I mean.
but once it gets up there, it really does have a good exhaust note, which is hard to find sometimes for a twin turbo variant. The good thing also is you have Toyota Safety Sense embedded in this. So you'll have the front pedestrian detection, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, forward collision, rear collision with automatic braking. So you're pretty much taken care of there. Another nice thing, every time you're going at a slow speed, if you're noticing, the 360 degree camera turns on, which makes it a little bit easier to pull in and out of any area. Turn radius, we're gonna try to do it at a stop point. It receives about three and a part lane. Let's rock and roll. I mean, if you're looking for something that has the exhaust note, when you push it, this ticks the box. Sequential LED turn signals for the front and the rear, premium LED headlamps. I mean, definitely getting a lot of bang for your buck. Yes, it's at a higher price point, more in the near or $70,000, but what you're getting as a package, ventilated heated seats for the front and for rear occupants, plus this enlarged 14 inch touchscreen. It's really hard to complain about anything. All digital for all your screens, you're getting better MPGs, and the ride is also a lot smoother. So I think for the new generation, it has really done the increases in which it needs to for payload, for towing, and for an everyday drive. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to stop by Stadium Toyota to check out their new and pre-owned selection.